Here's example three of using periodic properties to evaluate a trig function. So here we want to evaluate a cotangent of negative five pi over six. Okay, so in examples one and two, we had a sine and a cosine where the period was two pi. Now here, remember for cotangent, uh, the period is pi. Okay, so what we're gonna do instead is uh, add or subtract pi as often as we need to. He has two pi will still work, but remember, um, we really wanna use the periodic properties, so we wanna be, uh, I guess, proper about it and just add multiples or subtract multiples of pi. Uh, as often as we need to. Okay, in this case, we are gonna add though. So we still approach it the exact same way. So we ask ourselves is, uh, so we want the cotangent of negative five pi over six. Okay, so first of all, what's the period of cotangent? It's pi. Okay, now we ask ourselves, is negative five pi over six larger than pi or is it smaller than zero? Okay, and so then when we answer that question, we can uh, use that fact to add or subtract pi as often as we need to until we get an angle between zero and pi, okay? that hopefully will be a special angle on the unit circle somewhere up here. And then we could use that, okay? So ag again, we could do two pi just like with all the other ones, but if uh, we have to use periodic properties, then we should be careful and just use pi, okay? <clears throat> and we do wanna use the periodic properties to evaluate this because uh, we just wanna illustrate how they work. Okay, so basically, um, negative five pi over six is less than zero, okay? So what we want to do is add pi as often as we need to until we get an angle between zero and uh, pi, okay? So then we do negative five pi over six plus pi, okay? Well, pi multiplied out by six over six, so that's the same thing as negative five pi over six plus six pi over six, okay? Negative five pi plus six pi, that's just one pi, so it's just one pi over six, or in other words, pi over six, okay? <clears throat> okay, so now, uh, negative five pi over six plus pi equals pi over six. So what that tells us is by the periodic properties of cotangent, then uh, we know that cotangent of negative five pi over six equals, uh, let's try a different blue here, equals the cotangent of pi over six. Now is pi over six between zero and pi? Yeah, it's pi divided by six, so it's positive and it's less than pi. So pi over six, where is that? Uh, that's right here. The cotangent is the x-coordinate divided by the y-coordinate, okay, for the point on the unit circle. Cotangent is cosine divided by sine, which is x-coordinate divided by y-coordinate. So the cotangent of pi over 6 is uh, root 3 over 2 divided by uh, 1 half. Okay. So if you take root 3 over 2 and divide it by a half, that's like root 3 over 2 multiplied by 2. So uh, let's go ahead and write that. So that's root three over two times two, so the twos cancel and that's just root three, okay? All right, so that's our answer here, root three. So what we just found out from periodic properties is that cotangent of negative five pi over six uh, is the same thing as cotangent of pi over six because cotangent has period pi and these two angles differ by pi, okay? Negative five pi over six plus pi is pi over six, so they have the same cotangent, okay? Um, and the cotangent of pi over six, well, pi over six is a special angle on the unit circle, Okay, so that's uh, x coordinate divided by y coordinate, root three over two divided by one half. Simplify that, you get root three. Okay, so uh, this guy up here equals the square root of three. Okay, now I wanna point out, remember, um, we talked about even odd properties and we know cotangent is an odd function. So we could have also approached this uh, with even odd properties and said, okay, cotangent of negative five pi over six. Well, since cotangent is odd, that's negative cotangent of five pi over six, okay? And then what we could do is say, okay, well, five pi over six, hey, that's a special angle on the unit circle. So here it is. So cotangent of five pi over six is x coordinate divided by y coordinate, which is negative root three over two over one half, okay? So then what we would have is negative, negative root three over two over one half. So we'd still end up with exactly the same thing, okay? Uh, which is just root three. So I wanna point out that, uh, I think we've said it before, but I just wanna keep pointing it out that with trig, uh, evaluating trig expressions like this, uh, there's usually gonna be a few different ways to approach it. Okay. So now let's draw a picture of these angles just like we did with example one and two. So we'll set up our unit circle over here. Okay, so what's different about uh, this guy? So cotangent has period pi, so the angles that we draw, they're not gonna be coterminal. Okay, with sine and cosine, the period was two pi, so the angles, it turns out, were coterminal. But anyway, um, pi over six, what does pi over six look like? Well, that's kind of sort of about here. Okay, pi over six is about here. Okay, so this is uh, pi over six. Okay, I just wanna label it out there. 
And then what about negative 5 pi over 6? Well, here, let's look at this. Uh, pi over 6, 5 pi over 6. So negative 5 pi over 6 is the same rotation in the opposite direction. So this would be negative pi over 6, negative 5 pi over 6. Okay? This is positive pi over 6, positive 5 pi over 6, negative pi over 6, negative 5 pi over 6. Okay? So negative 5 pi over 6 would be down here. Uh, and notice that that really is uh, in a straight line with pi over 6. Okay? So it is in a straight line with pi over 6. <clears throat> so I'll try to draw it like that, but it's going to be pretty bad. Yep, terrible drawing. Yeah, okay. So we'll just pretend that that's a straight line. But anyway, this uh, right here is negative 5 pi over 6. Okay. So notice that uh, these angles are not coterminal, so they don't hit the unit circle at the same point. But this right here, what's this? Uh, this we know is uh, root 3 over 2, comma 1 half. Okay. And this guy down here is negative root 3 over 2, comma negative 1 half, right? <clears throat> so remember that for cotangents, it's the x coordinate divided by the y coordinate for the point on the unit circle. So this guy divided by this guy, it's the exact same thing as this guy divided by this guy. So these both are negative, so when you divide them, the negatives cancel, okay? And you just get the same thing, root 3 over 2 over 1 half, root 3 over 2 over 1 half, which gives you root 3, okay? So yet another way of doing this is seeing that negative 5 pi over 6, well, that's coterminal with uh, 7 pi over 6, okay? If you take negative 5 pi over 6 and add 2 pi, so that means go all the way around uh, one full revolution, so that's just what puts you right here, that would be 7 pi over 6, okay? And then we can say, well, hey, cotangent of 7 pi over 6, do the x coordinate divided by the y coordinate, okay? So that's yet another way of doing that. Um, but again, we didn't do it like that because we wanted to use the periodic properties, and since cotangent has period pi, then we added or subtracted pi as we needed to, and we only needed to add pi once. Okay? So that's uh, three different ways of doing uh, this expression, of evaluating this expression. So one is with periodic properties, which is what we wanted to do. Another way is with um, even-odd properties uh, that we talked about earlier. And a uh, third way is with coterminal angles. Okay? And coterminal angles are really the same as periodic properties for sine, cosine, secant to cosecant. But for cotangent and tangent, um, they're slightly different. Okay, Because the period for tangent and cotangent is pi and not 2 pi. Anyway, that's example 3 with using periodic properties to evaluate a trig function.